So I think we're all fully aware of exclusive deals that go on between manufacturers and publishers. And most of the time we see it and we bitch about it because it's right there in our face because it's usually a game that's maybe hitting one console and not another. Or maybe it's it's coming out with exclusive content for one platform and not another until, you know, a month or a year later. And the biggest controversy that's happened recently has been the Tomb Raider deal that Microsoft talked about. So they announced Tomb Raider as an exclusive, which it turned out to be a timed exclusive. And we don't know for what platforms. Maybe it's coming to PlayStation. Maybe it's coming to PC. Uh, maybe it's coming to both. So that deal, we'll have to find out what exactly the terms were. But besides just games coming to one platform and not the other, or DLC hitting one system first before hitting another, there's also other things that are negotiable. And really, in business, everything is negotiable. And one thing that we are hearing about today, apparently, is that there was a deal where Sony had not only purchased the rights to exclusive content for Destiny for PlayStation, which, by the way, uh, Destiny on PlayStation is getting, you know, extra maps and weapons. Um, all of that also timed exclusive if you read the fine print. So a lot of these companies are using the word exclusive here, but you really got to pay attention to, to what actually is exclusive. But one of the things besides the content is the marketing getting the game out there and telling the world that the game is available on your system and you know up until now it's almost seemed like destiny was a playstation game it seemed like it was an exclusive title because you only hear PlayStation and Destiny kind of in the same wordage usually, especially when it comes to the advertisements. And it turns out that apparently Microsoft was not allowed to advertise Destiny because Sony had purchased the exclusive rights for advertisement. So we found out today through a website that Microsoft had published, Microsoft in the UK, they had come up with like a fake website. It's called Destiny Fragrance. And if you go and you click on Discover More, it says, here's the lowdown. Destiny is actually an epic new first-person shooter available on Xbox. Thing is, we didn't have permission to run adverts for the game, so we didn't. Thanks for smelling that something was up. Now get the game and become a legend. So apparently this is worded in such a way that I guess they could work around uh, whatever deal was in place. But it's interesting because... This is part of what goes on, you know, and it happens everywhere on all sides. And again, everything is negotiable. So Sony definitely uh, paying up for some exclusive rights uh, whenever it comes to advertising Destiny and also with exclusive content, at least for a time period. So you want to go check out the links and the story and read more about it, post down below. And let me know, is that something that you were aware of that, you know, marketing uh, also is affected in negotiations and that's why sometimes you'll be watching um, TV and you'll see a commercial or you'll be watching anything really internet whatever but you'll see a commercial for a game and you know that that game's multi-platform but you only hear about it for one game and that's because there's been some sort of deal worked out because of that so that is for me the Red Dragon stay tuned right here and VGM for your latest news I'll see you next time thanks for watching